Hi everybody, let's speak about speed, speeding up Maven, uh, Maven builds. Uh, my name is Peter Palaga. I work uh, for Red Hat in a team called Red Hat in Integration, where we work on various offerings based on Apache Camel. And I personally, uh, I'm porting Apache Camel to Quarkus uh, in a project called Camel, Camel Quarkus. And uh, those are basically uh, the main uh, projects I'm building very often. And uh, if you look at those, uh, they are rather big, either in terms of uh, lines of code or in terms of uh, the number of Maven modules. Building such big projects uh, may take long. And this, this talk uh, summarizes uh, some t tips and tricks that help me to make uh, those builds faster which doesn't necessarily mean that uh, it will help you to make your builds faster, but I hope uh, you will learn something and uh, maybe this, uh, these approaches I will be speaking about are generally applicable to, to maybe any build uh, using Apache, uh, Apache Maven. Good, uh, I will start with giving uh, a short overview about uh, how uh, Maven build is structured and how it uh, is spawned and how it dies. Uh, then I will be sp uh, speaking about skipping modules. I will introduce Maven daemon and then I will speak about uh, using machine with more CPUs and more RAM for building Maven project. I had to leave out uh, incremental builds with GIP because I had to condense this talk uh, into just 30 minutes. I usually uh, give it in 45 minutes or something like that. So this is how Maven is structured uh, internally. When you invoke um, Maven install, Maven package or whatever, starting with MVN, uh, it spawns uh, a process that is hosting a shell Inside the shell script, uh, your environment is scanned, uh, Java home, uh, various Maven related environment variables. The class pass is put together and uh, the launcher class uh, of Maven is invoked and uh, the normal Maven Java process is started. Uh, Maven build consists of phases. Uh, which you might know, that's what you invoke uh, through command line typically, such as compile, package test, or install. And uh, there are Maven modules, or also called Maven goals, or goals of Maven plugins, which are assigned to those phases. Some of those are assigned to some phases by default. You don't need to configure anything in your POM file, and others might be necessary for you to do something specific and that's why you configure it in your POM XML file. Um, we will be speaking about Maven modules and Maven goals and those are executable tasks implemented inside Maven plugins. Okay, good. Uh, I think minus these skip tests is uh, a piece of knowledge everybody of you uh, has learned uh, the first day when you started using Maven. Uh, why it's good to skip tests or some, some other tasks? Because maybe it's early in the morning and you are uh, pulling all the changes from your team repository and you want uh, to start working on a feature and you just want to build everything, install every Maven module of the given project into a local Maven repository so that you can do something specific in some specific module. So you just need to install. You don't want to uh, run all tests because it takes a long time. Uh, that's why we, want, we may want to skip modules, but uh, how can we identify which modules uh, are worth skipping? Which of those take a lot of time? There are uh, more possible methods to identify those. Uh, I find uh, using uh, async profiler or any other Java profiler the handiest uh, because, because maybe it's just Java, right? And the async profiler outputs a flame graph that shows uh, where the most of the time is spent. So 
Here, somewhere in the middle, is the Maven method uh, that uh, invokes the individual modules. And based on how wide the, the given bar is, you know, this is the longest taking module and it's perhaps worth skipping it if it's not essential to what I'm, to what I'm doing at the moment. For example, in the morning, I don't want to uh, execute all my tests. So once I have identified all skippable modules of my project for my early morning uh, rebuild, it looks like this. And uh, the speed up is from 23 minutes down to four and a half minutes, which is great. But can it be, be even, even better? Uh, if you ever looked into the source code of a Maven module, you would see something like this. Most of the modules have the skip parameter, which is injected, and uh, this, uh, this, this skip property is what you would, would invoke on the command line with minus D, right? Uh, that's injected there, some Boolean, and if it's true, then we log a message, okay, we are skipping because the user wants it, and we don't do anything else. And anything else is the time-taking uh, task that would be done normally. But what happens before? There are many things happening before this uh, method returns. Uh, Maven needs to resolve uh, the, the, the module artifact. It needs to download it and all its dependencies. It, need to, it needs to set up a class loader because Maven sets up an isolated class loader for each module. And uh, it needs to load all the necessary classes which, need, which are needed to execute this. Then it needs to instati instantiate uh, the, the, the module class and uh, it needs to inject the fields into it. This skip Boolean is trivial. There might be uh, some, some more complex objects, uh, assembly out of which may take quite a lot of time, like in Enforcer, uh, there's some dependency hierarchy being scanned and so on. So only after all these things happen, uh, the execute mo uh, method can be uh, called and uh, it can exit because we don't want it to do anything. Can we skip skipped all of this somehow? And the answer is yes, but you need to do something inside your POM XML file. So first of all, you keep all essential plugins inside the, the default uh, profile-less context. And all those which are not essential for the fast build Needed, uh, are needed to be placed inside a full or profile that we call here full and that profile is activated by this little property that is prefixed by exclamation mark and that means if quickly minus, if minus d quickly is not there on command line full profile is active and if minus d quickly is there it's uh, this is this is not active and none of these non-essential non plugins is not uh, resolved, the artifacts are not downloaded, not files are not opened, classes are not loaded and so on. And let's have a look how much uh, time saving potential this ha has. So for my project, which originally took 23 minutes and after the usual skipping it took four and a half minutes, now it's just four minutes. So by not loading plugins, we have won 30 seconds, more than 30 seconds, which is also nice, right? And can we do even better? And the answer is yes, because Java is fast, but it's only fast when it's warmed up, as we all know. And the Java warm-up costs uh, consist of two main parts. The first is Java, uh, the, the JVM boot, and the second is JIT. First, I tried to measure or give you some idea what the boot costs are for Maven. And what I did is that I identified the class inside Maven sources uh, where the Maven's own time measuring starts, 
right? And this is a good point to to uh, to set, right? Where where Maven starts doing something useful because that's the time where it's measures, uh, it starts measure, measuring its own work, right? And we, when we output the system time uh, at this point and compare it with system time uh, just before invoking Maven, we see the costs, uh, the time costs of the of booting Maven, which is three quarters of second, which is which is a lot. Right? Maven needs three quarters of seconds to start doing something useful with every Maven invocation. Uh, the second part of uh, warm up costs is, is just in time compilation. And this can also be seen with, um, with, with the profiler. And for my quite long Build. This is quite a substantial amount of time, roughly. I don't know, one fourth or something like that. So, what? What's the solution? The solution is easy. Gradle has it for for ages. It's called Daemon, right? We need a long-running, long-living Java process uh, that keeps the class loaders up and warmed up. The JIT happened at some point during the day, but it happens only once, not with every Maven invocation. And uh, the demon for Maven exists. It was started by my colleague uh, Guillaume Nodde in 2019. Uh, he works on Camel as well, and uh, he was uh, bored with waiting for, for Camel builds for so long, so he uh, implemented Maven daemon. Uh, we have like 26 uh, releases and 27 uh, being voted on at the moment. And uh, it was donated to Apache Software Foundation last year. So now everything happens under the official Maven project already. So to install Maven Daemon, you have uh, several, uh, several methods like uh, direct zip download, SDK man, and so forth. Um, and here is the, the overview. Uh, on the command line, you are using the MVN client, which is a GraalVM native executable, which is a platform-specific GraalVM native executable. Uh, we have uh, executables for Windows, Mac, and Linux. Uh, so far, we didn't have a build for uh, um, Apple M1, but with the current release that is being voted on, that's the first release also for Apple M1. Good. Uh, the Maven daemon command line client sends build requests uh, to a daemon. Uh, the daemon is first looked up, right? If there's no daemon running or there's no daemon free for accepting uh, requests, uh, the MVND command line client starts a new daemon. Uh, it reuses daemons as far as possible and daemons uh, exit uh, after some configurable amount of time by themselves. So unless you want to kill them all using the MVND client yourselves. So uh, MVND sends build requests to the daemons through a network socket on Linux through a local socket uh, and it re receives events from the daemon and it di displays them uh, on a, a shell user interface. On the other hand, uh, daemon is a classical Java process. Uh, it embeds a spe specific Maven version that's important. People are oftentimes running, how do I switch? No, it's not possible. Every single Maven daemon release is tied to a specific Maven version. And uh, it uh, receives build requests, caches, plugin uh, class loaders, so that they are kept warm between Maven invocation and so that uh, JIT doesn't uh, happen uh, repeatedly. And as I said, it exits, exits by itself after some time. Now, let's do a demo. 
So I'll start a build of Camo Quarkus. Here, uh, there's no daemon running, so I'm starting the, the first build uh, today, so to say. Yeah. So with the quickly profile. And uh, it has started the daemon, as you may have seen very quickly, and then it was scanning through all the POM file for like four seconds, because there are so many of them, more than 1,000. And now it's building on 11 cores in parallel. And uh, here you see the, the, the number of modules uh, that are being built. And uh, you can press Control B to switch to this uh, classical flow of, of messages. Uh, what's special here that every message is prefixed uh, by the module so that you can discern which one belongs to, to which parallelly built module. May, with Control B, you can get back. And if you press plus, it shows you a couple of lines if you have enough space in your shell. And if you press minus, uh, those lines from the modules are disappearing. Okay, if I call MVND status, it should so show me, oh, MVND status. It should show, him, show me this single daemon that is busy at the moment and is spending 10 gigs of RAM. Good. I will not wait for the, uh, for the rest of the build. I will just show you uh, some numbers. So if this build took uh, four minutes with Stock Maven, uh, the first MVND build took one minute and 90 seconds, uh, 19 seconds, which is three times uh, speed up, and the subsequent builds are even faster because less JIT is happening and the code that is executed is already JITed. And the third build is like uh, four times speed up against the, the baseline with Stock Maven. This is for a project with many modules where a lot of parallelization is, is possible. We have seen that most of the time all my available cores were, uh, were loaded. Uh, the, the gains come from uh, class loaded class loader uh, caching, not repeated, not repeated JIT, and parallel execution. Uh, what it's like for a single module? Uh, there the speed up is also interesting. If I change to some specific module and execute Maven clean install, with stock Maven it would take about 10 seconds and with first MVND build it's already faster. I would expect this to be nearly the same, but here you see it's already fast. I don't know why. Uh, and the subsequent builds are, are actually much faster. Here the speed up is like uh, 5.3 uh, times faster, which is great. Even if I'm executing a specific test with minus the test, uh, my test, uh, this, this speed, uh, speed up is, is interesting. So Maven Demon is a, is a great productivity boost. Good. So here, when I'm uh, building single module, uh, there's no parallelity uh, because it's just a single module. Uh, but the class loader uh, caching and not repeated JIT is still important. Good. Uh, now let's speak about parallel uh, builds. Uh, you may say this is not new because the stock maven has this minus t argument which you can call and it would uh, build in parallel. But uh, the, uh, the implementation uh, there is of this parallel execution in stock maven is a little, is a little bit different than in uh, maven daemon. In uh, stock maven, uh, the the, the modules are built in parallel uh, through, through the, the levels of, of dependencies. 
Uh, on the other hand, uh, in Maven Daemon, the, the modules are scheduled for building much more aggressively and the, you get much higher saturation of your CPUs. The scheduling algorithm is just, just more uh, effective and better. So as a result, you, you get something else when you build this Maven Daemon and it might be faster because of this, even though you build on the same amount of CPUs with both. Good, the uh, hidden dependencies are a very common problem when you switch from serialized default Maven build to parallel, either with the default scheduler or with uh, Maven, Maven Daemon. It might happen that you have a dependency tree like this that uh, modules B and C depend on some common uh, dependency. And with stock Maven, they are always built in order. Like B is completely built before C is built. And that's why C can actually safely assume that it can read some resources from B's target folder, which is happening here and there. And if you switch to a parallel build, you see very strange exceptions like file not found, or if it's Java bytecode, some classes are not found or are corrupted or whatever. And it might be that this is, this is the problem. What can you do? Uh, Maven Daemon offers a command line par uh, argument minus one or minus, minus serial, which forces the serial build. There's no parallelity. Or you can do this trick. Uh, you can make the hidden dependencies explicit. And if you don't want to add a runtime dependency of uh, C on B, you can do something like this. You uh, add a dependency in scope test, you exclude all transitives, and that's how nothing you add nothing at runtime of, of C, but at build time, Maven sees that there is a dependency and C uh, is always scheduled only after B is fully built. <coughs> okay, with MVND, you can find many broken plugins because they do all possible uh, things that may not be done when you are doing uh, parallel execution, like keeping mutable global state in some, uh, uh, some, some global variables, or they are saving some state uh, into system properties, and the like, which results into race conditions. So what you can do is to either use minus one like we did in the previous case, or you can try to fix the given plugin or report it uh, at least. Good. Uh, can you think of any MVND draw drawbacks? I think those are generally the same like with Gradle. The daemon may consume quite a lot of RAM depending on how long it is running and how much RAM uh, you allow it to use. Uh, but there are also other drawbacks here and there, like we tend to have more issues on Windows because Windows is picky about opening and closing files and deleting files that have been opened and not, not closed which happens a lot when you are caching uh, class loaders, which are open in jars and so on. And for a long time, we didn't have Apple M1 build, which will be available with the release that is uh, being voted about at the moment. Now let's have a look, how much time do we have? Six minutes, perfect. Uh, how much potential there is uh, with using a larger machine with more CPUs and more RAM. Uh, <clears throat> so this laptop I'm working on now has 12 cores and uh, the CPU frequency is 2.7 uh, gigs. I bought an, a Threadripper, an older model, uh, about two years ago and there, there are 24 threads in parallel possible 
and uh, 3.5 gigahertz of, of CPU frequency. So when we compare these two, uh, the stock Maven speed up is like 1.1 factor, and the best case in third Maven Demon build would be like 1.5, which is an interesting speed up for me, like 20 seconds, uh, 40 seconds instead of minute. I am ready to do it, but does it cost? How much does it cost? Because the electricity gets uh, more expensive. So uh, this is what I did. I measured the power com comes up com consumption with a budget power meter from a hobby market. Uh, the a uh, nominal power supply unit output uh, is like 135 uh, watts for the laptop and 650 watts uh, for the desktop, which is a bit underpowered actually. For, for such a, a CPU, you would no normally have uh, a bit larger uh, power supply unit. But anyway, uh, here you see a two-work session, right? Where I try to do roughly the same things, like reading mails and doing builds and web browsing and the like, what I do during my uh, usual work day. And during that, those uh, two hours, I have spent uh, uh, 0.06 kilowatts uh, with laptop and 0.021 uh, kilowatts with, with the desktop, which is like 3.5 uh, more times more uh, power consumption. I have checked today what's the, <coughs> what's the price of the electricity in Flanders uh, by, by NG. And it said it's uh, 40, uh, 64 cents for a kilowatt hour. And when I uh, factor these numbers uh, with this price, it comes up uh, to 49 euros a year for the laptop and uh, 171 euros for the desktop. Count for yourself if this is too much. Uh, if it's an ecological zone, uh, sin or not. And that's, that's basically it, what I wanted to share with you. Uh, to wrap, wrap up, uh, we can speed up Maven builds by skipping unessential modules, either using their built-in uh, Maven properties, or we can uh, uh, exclude them from the build altogether so that they are not loaded at all and so on, which has some uh, saving potential as well. Uh, then uh, I have shown uh, the, the gains from using Maven Daemon either through parallel bits, uh, builds or uh, not jitting uh, repeatedly through the day, through, throughout the day. And I have shown what it means or what, what the speed up can be and power consumption uh, rise when you use a, a, a machine with more CPUs and more RAM. That's it. Thank you very much. If you have questions about Apache Camel, about Apache Camel on Quarkus, about Maven Demon, about whatever, please find me. Mm -hmm.